Welcome back to African Air Ordnance. Uh, today we're going to be doing a teardown video of the Sumatra uh, in 5.5 caliber. It's from Sam Yang or Seneca. Um, the tools we're going to have uh, to do this, we've got three different size uh, star or Phillips head screwdrivers, a punch, a hammer with a rubber um, head to it, uh, just in case things get a bit sticky. And then we also have a, a long threaded bar, which is because we can't get long screwdrivers here, that I've made so that we can uh, remove, obviously loosen the valve end cap. Right, I ask you guys to uh, like and subscribe to the channel, it just helps the channel grow. Um, and then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually remove the wooden um, foregrip, and that we just, Simply undo that. Sorry, my hands are getting in the way here. There you go. And also, I have a little container that I always use to put all the parts in so that they don't go missing. And then we just simply, we basically, when you take it, so if you just lift it, slide it out, or place it over there. All right, so the next thing you want to do is we want to remove the front screw and the back screw. And this is going to help us take this receiver casing off. It really is just a casing. It's a cast piece. So we're just going to undo that. Okay. Now, the reason for us taking the Sumatra apart is that we're going to be installing in the second video the new African Air Ordnance Upgrade Kit for the Sumatra. Uh, so that is why we are doing this today. So there's the back screw. So when you want to get this off, the best thing to do is to just give it a, a whack. Okay. Like that. And it just separates. All right. Um, I do want to state that the gun is absolutely empty. You can see on the pressure gauge, there's no air in the gun. And whenever you do work on air rifles, please, uh, from a safety perspective, make sure they are totally empty uh, of air. Okay, so I'm just going to cock this so I can move the magazine. Put it there. All right. And then uh, we're going to just decock this quickly. Okay. So. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to actually, uh, we're going to remove the cocking handle. And this is just a matter, again, taking a screwdriver. And it is a screw. Goes through there. I'll just undo that quickly. Okay. That screw comes out. Just want to pop it back in there. And the next thing we want to do is we want there's a pin and we want to take our punch. This pin comes out actually quite easy. So we just drop, it just drops out the back. There's the pin, and now the cocking handle can come out. All right. So there's your cocking handle. Put that there. All right. So the next piece we're going to remove is this top part. Uh, there are normally two screws here, but one's actually gone missing because these things are so finicky. Um, and we are just going to remove this back screw here. Okay, so put this with its screw. The screws are tiny, so we're just going to put that in the container. So that's going to be missing. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the screw that's in here and this is what actually connects with the hammer. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to get that out. When, you, when you're cocking it actually is what pushes the hammer back. That out. Out. Um, and then the next thing after that, we've got the 
this is the actual power adjuster wheel. We want to remove that. So to do that, we actually have to come in here and get in the side here and we want to push. We might have to actually tap this out because that can generally be quite difficult to get out. So you just want to tap it out. And you'll see what happens is it'll push this part out here. Okay. So now all we have to do is we just have to pull manually pull that part out. All right. I'm going to drop that in there. And then it's going to drop out your power adjuster. Okay. The next thing we want to do after that, we've done all that, is we're going to knock this pin out. Um, and this pin can be quite difficult to get out. Um, so that's the next thing we're going to want to do. All right. So. I'm just going to allow that like that. Maybe you can see it. Okay. Um, that. Okay. And the punch is going to go through here, so you don't have to worry about that springing out. So that's a little cotter pin that goes in the back there. Okay. So now before we pull this punch out, I'm going to put my finger on the actual hammer spring retainer at the back here. There's a place. I'm going to put my finger on that and pull that out. And I can release the hammer spring. Okay. Just like that. And that can go into the pots. Next thing I want to do, I want to remove this. Outer, this is like now the receiver block. So we want to remove this. Um, this can be quite stiff on here, so it might require a tap or two, but first let's just remove the screws that hold it in place. There's three of them. Actually, uh, let me take it back. There's two screws and then there is a little uh, grub screw that holds it in place. Okay. screw and then we just got a little uh, grub screw that fits over here and just move that up the way and we're just going to loosen this up loose enough okay so now we've taken both screws out um, Depending, some of these require a bit of a tap to just to advance them. I just use the rubber side of this. Just to loosen it a bit. Don't need a pound on it, but sometimes they do take a bit. So you can see it's quite a quite a, a, a tight fit on there. So right. So that there is your let's call that the receiver block. Alright, so that's parts off. We won't need that for a while. Okay, we're going to put this over there. Okay. So next thing is you want to get the barrel off. My apologies. So the hammer just slides out. That's the hammer for the Sumatra. Okay, so next you want to get the barrel off. So we're going to flip this around. I'm just going to take off the thread protector. Off here. And then we're going to turn that around. So the easiest way that I found to do this is actually just to lift the barrel slightly and then to get this transfer port out. Um, you've got to just, you don't want to, obviously you don't want to bend the barrel. So, so there's the original transfer port with the, and there's one of the O-rings. There's two of them that go on there. Okay, those can go back in the box. So the next thing is we want to, want to wiggle this barrel out. So we just want to go back and forth. Wiggle it out. Okay, so there's the barrel that comes off. I'm just going to leave that there. And there's a bit of what I call plastic like trunking or spacer, some people call it. Um, so that goes there. So again, we're just. The next thing we're going to want to do is you want to get this front piece off. So. 
these two can be hit, can be on here quite tight. I've kept always keep them quite loose, uh, and so they don't get damaged every time. Any time you want to take a, a gun apart to do some maintenance on it, so normally you would use your punch, and obviously a hammer to take them off. But in my case, we don't need to do that. So these will just simply just unscrew off. Just like that. Pop it there, it doesn't go missing. Again, this one comes off. There you go, it's just a ring like that. The first, the big ring is aluminium, so you gotta be careful with it. The other one is a, a type of steel, which can hand, handle more of a uh, smack to it, but best not is just to always work Never used a lot of force on anything, on air guns. So the next thing is we're gonna to wanna to get this front cover off. I'm gonna show you a technique that I've seen guys hit this. And you know, when you if you do regular maintenance on an air gun, and you're doing that over and over again, and you're gonna hit that, it's gonna to start to flare that and it damages this front side piece. So I've got, I've got a technique to show you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys that now. All right, so this is the technique we use to get the front side assembly off. So on the floor, I'm just placing a towel, um, and what we're going to do is, I'm just going to place it against the floor on the towel like that. Put your foot on there, and then just using your foot, we just push it down. So that way, you can see now it's pushed it off. So it also saves you from having to beat that with a mallet or anything. It ends up eventually over time damaging the front side. Of it. So now we're back to where I had shown you how to move the front side block off. So the rest of the way, we're just gonna have to pull this off. It's still also quite hard, like that. So that is your front sight assembly. We're just gonna place that there. So the next thing we need to do is that we want to remove the valve tube, uh, main tube, end cap off here. So we're gonna just, again, that's I'll just come handy. <clears throat> Because these can be quite stiff to start with, because um, there is an O-ring in here. So. so once it gets past that O-ring, it becomes quite easy to take this off. All right. So that's that part, and we're just going to set that there. Um, there's absolutely no need to take this other uh, plastic space out or this in uh, this uh, tube end cap off. There's no reason for it. Next thing we want to do is we want to want to go in here and we are going to first of all we don't these last two screws we leave there. Um, that's the handguard piece that we can just put it there for safekeeping so it doesn't get lost. Um, and we're going to basically going to loosen the valve end cap. Um, it's in there quite tight and sometimes it does take a bit of effort and you've got to be careful not to damage anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, in, this, in the States you can get very long screwdrivers but we don't have them here. So we made one up, a thread bar, so we're just going to place that into the tube. So now we want to feel when it, it, it catches the, now it's locked into the little slot on the valve end cap. So a little spanner here. I'm gonna do that. So let me make sure I get it again. Can be quite finicky. Okay, now it's in. Okay. And just try and turn it. There she goes. Okay. Right. Now, you can see it's still quite hard. You don't want to undo it all the way, but you just want to loosen it because what happens is by unloosening it, it takes pressure um, off the o-ring that sits inside here. So the next thing we want to do, we're going to leave that bar in there because we're going to use that to push out the valve. As we're going to remove these two screws that hold the valve assembly in. There's one. Number two. 
Okay. And now, just very gently, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the on this bar, and it's going to push out the um, the valve on the other side. So we're just going to tap. So I'm just going to move this like that, so you can see it come out that side. So that has now popped out the valve assembly from the Sumatra. Um, and this is the original. So this is getting replaced with the new upgrade kit. So uh, in the next video, uh, we will reassemble the rifle and we'll install the new upgrade kit. Um, and again, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video when we install the new upgrade kit from African Air Ordnance.